hello everyone welcome back to my channel i really appreciate y'all being here and listening to me talk again <laughs> about random topics so today today i am wanting to just kind of put a, together a hodgepodge of things that i've thought about um it really isn't gonna make much sense but just like how to be an adult um like a lot of my other videos i will reference that i have read a book about this it's called how to be an adult in 360 steps or something like that i'll put a picture here and there's some things that i have just combined from reading books and learning stuff that i just had to learn on my own for living alone for the past five years living completely Living on my own for the last five years, I've just learned some things. And I feel like it's helpful for people who are living on their own the first time um, to just kind of realize these things as you begin to live on your own um, and how to kind of be the most successful at it. So, Firstly, um, this is in no order whatsoever. Um, and these are just my kind of tips. <laughs> so let's get into it. Firstly, having a good sleep schedule. I just recorded a video on this, um, so that goes way into more detail, but having a good sleep schedule is critically important. Nobody is going to tell you when to go to sleep and wake up except yourself anymore, <laughs> like especially if you're going to college for the first time. I personally have been waking myself up and getting myself on my own schedule since like sixth grade, because that's just the lifestyle that I had. Um, I know everybody grew up differently, but I've kind of been doing that since I was about 12 years old or so so you can um, start at any age it doesn't have to be something that you have to start and you can start at any time so. secondly developing good cleaning habits I could make a whole video on this <laughs> when I first lived on my own I was not good at this I didn't really know how to clean things to be honest I know that's a little bit embarrassing but I grew up where I really didn't have to clean that often and I know that's really a privilege and lucky and I'm very blessed for that the one thing I did know how to do was dishes <laughs> and vacuum because of a job that I had um, freaking vacuuming a whole warehouse I worked at DSW <laughs> so cleaning habits for your living space whether it's a room in a house or an apartment or whatever um, there's things that I clean every day like making my bed cleaning the counters every time after I make something uh, Sweeping the floor every time after I cook or at least at the end of the day um, Etc, etc. And then most other things I will clean like once every two weeks So I do like a more deep clean so to say like I will clean off all the counters I will sweep and mop the floors dust everything wipe down the mirrors occasionally wipe down the windows but not usually <laughs> uh vacuum and still that doesn't take that long because i live in an apartment but it's really important to do and cleaning the toilet seat the the shower um etc so just really wiping all that stuff down and i do laundry once a week usually every week but you can kind of lay that out however you want. But again, these are things that you just kind of need to think about as you start to live on your own. Um, I run the dishwasher also probably a few times a week. It depends how many dishes I'm using, but I do cook at home most days for all my meals. So I am using it quite a lot. <laughs> the next one, I probably should have put this a little bit earlier, but having a nighttime routine, I think is really important. Um, as you kind of grow and flourish into an adult, it's a lot easier to do whatever you want at night like eating a huge thing of ice cream and watching netflix till four in the morning or whatever but that's ultimately not the responsible decision i know that's boring but really bringing yourself to have the discipline to be like okay it's nine o'clock i want to be asleep by 11 i'm gonna start getting ready um and that's part of my that kind of nightly routine is also part of my sleep schedule how to get your sleep better um video and so i'll kind of see if i can figure out how to link it wherever it is <laughs> okay so the next item is keeping a grocery list throughout the week so this is one thing i do i cook my meals at home it's very cost effective it's fun it's easy and all you have to do is just learn <laughs> and i've kind of learned everything on my own on google youtube i took a cooking class in grad school um etc cookbooks 
whatever just trial and error it's a really useful skill to have so keeping a grocery list throughout the week i have mine over on my bulletin board over there is a way to track things that you need throughout the week and so you can go on one weekly grocery trip which is at least how i do it i know some people go to the grocery store every day but i don't really think that's the most efficient or cost effective option just personally but you can do however works for you i also will try to plan the meals so when i do order the groceries i also end up ordering which is a fun fact because most grocery delivery places at least right now is free delivery after a certain amount of money um i think it could be because of i don't want to say it out loud but y'all know what i'm saying because i think some videos are getting kind of uh, thrown out on YouTube if you're talking about that. So during this time in 2020, we, I have been ordering all my groceries online pretty much and it's free delivery. So I get to just look online, add things to my cart. It's like online shopping for shoes or whatever. It's really easy. <laughs> so I like that because it helps keep me on track as well. I'm not just like meandering off to the donuts or whatever. <laughs> so not that I don't eat those things because I definitely do, but it just helps me stay on track with the groceries that I'm getting. And the point of saying all that is while I'm doing that grocery ordering, I'm planning out what I'm going to eat throughout the week. So for example, most of the time I go out to eat on Friday night. Um, so then I try to plan dinners for Monday through Thursday and then also consider breakfast or lunch foods or condiments or things that I'm out of. So when I'm ordering the groceries, I think like, okay, tonight I'm gonna eat like spaghetti squash with chicken Parmesan on top. And tomorrow I'm going to eat chicken thighs with microwave mac and cheese or whatever. And then the next day we're gonna eat fish tacos with like breaded tilapia. So I need to get some breadcrumbs or whatever it is. Next day, homemade pizza. I'm um, trying to think of some other recipes that we do a lot. Um, we make like McDonald's wraps, like the snack wraps. Um, so having ranch dressing, shredded lettuce, like making sure we have a lot of fresh produce. I get a lot of stone fruit, I think it's called, like basically peaches and plums that aren't berries, um, nectarines, stuff like that. So. I eat those pretty much every morning. I use toast. Um, I make my own jam. So I kind of make sure I haven't run out of those things. We make our own salsa. Um, we make our own like pickled onions and things like that. So just keeping that stuff ready and stocked in the fridge, but then also buying things like if we need more yellow mustard or whatever. So I definitely don't make everything at home, <laughs> but you can. Um, Next is semi planning your workouts. Like, um, you don't have to plan them out completely, but if working out is something that you want to be a consistent part of your life, you can kind of plan out your week. Like, and the week before um, the coming week, I will look at my calendar and see what commitments I have during the day or at night and figure out when I can work out um, so that I consistently am working out most days. So for example, on Mondays I have work and then I have a Bible study at night. So I really have to be on top of my work throughout the day so that I can work out right as I end work and I can still be on time to my Bible study. So it's just, I mean, it's just being organized. Planning out your week is really, really critical and going to help you a lot in achieving all the things that you want to do in a day. Otherwise, it's pretty much impossible just to kind of do everything if you don't plan it and you're not on top of it. So that's why I mean by semi-planning, like just planning when you're going to do it. If you need to plan how to do it, that's different and again i was a personal trainer i still am certified um through nasm but i can talk more about workouts some other time because that's a whole topic <laughs> but whatever you're doing whether it's going for a walk cycle run at 45 soul cycle strength training following an app there are some good apps out there um anything like that just plan out when you're going to do it how long it's going to take, etc. Be realistic with your time. Turn on auto pay for your bills and for your savings account retirement. If those are things that you are able to do, that you um, are kind of able to have a, um, what's the word? Have a predictable monthly income and you're able to auto pay your bills. It's really important for staying on top of that. So you don't get late fees or etc. cetera. Um, having your bills on auto pay to just completely automatically pull out of your account every month and same thing having your money automatically go to your savings and retirement account that will help you stay on top of your goals for that the next thing is kind of more about sleeping um it's, i kind of called it the peace of mind category um so especially if you live on your own um or things like that when i used to live alone a lot of these things helped me feel a lot better at night and just safe overall i live in a safe area but a lot of things still can kind of help your peace of mind so so having an alarm system, um, having some type of 
protection item, whether that's a, not to kind of scare anybody, but get like a knife or a baseball bat or a gun or whatever it is, whatever you're comfortable with, kind of keeping that close by to you. Pepper spray, um, wasp spray, I've had that before. <laughs> Just being prepared to have something by you as you sleep. Um, that might not be something you think about, but if it helps you not kind of get nervous at night, it's worth uh, kind of looking at your options for that. And then also having a guard dog is what it's called. Having like a, it's a big metal pole that attaches under your doorknob and it comes diagonal to the floor. So I can show you a picture here, but it's basically a big metal pole that you put under your front door so that if someone was trying to open your front door, it would be a lot more difficult to open and you would definitely hear it. Um, to hear this giant pole falling <laughs> if the door was to open somehow and it just makes the door handle a lot harder to turn from the outside. Um, so those are just some considerations and also having an alarm system. You don't have to just get a hardwired system. There are a lot of systems that are wireless and they just go through Wi-Fi. So that's an option as well. For your car, um, keeping your regular maintenance, getting oil changes on time, getting gas. If you're coming home from something and you know you have to be somewhere the next day and you're low on gas, don't wait until the next morning. Just get the gas now so you're not rushing to get gas the next morning when you have to leave because I used to do that all the time. I would just forget to get gas and then leave in the morning already a little bit late and then have to go get gas and just be behind even more. So definitely take care of yourself in that way. Taxes, so learning how to do your taxes. I know it sucks that we don't learn this in school or anything like that, but learn how to do your own taxes um, read the little instruction that comes in the taxes when you're kind of getting your W-2 and stuff. It's not that hard. I've had to learn it completely on my own or you could um, learn how to navigate TurboTax if that's something that you would be able to have access to. I have been using TurboTax for a few years, but before that I did all my taxes on my own and it's something you can learn. You just have to make time for it. Um, so that's something that unfortunately we have to learn on our own and is worthwhile the investment um, because especially while we're young and just having like one job or a part-time job or whatever it's not too difficult to do our taxes it gets more draining and difficult as we grow and have more assets and things like that um, money in different places but in the beginning when things are simple it's definitely easy to learn how to do on your own this kind of is all health related in some way like financial health spiritual health physical health, whatever. So this is about posture in a way, like making sure that as you're sitting, as I'm not sitting well right now, like make sure you're sitting up and back when you're at work. If you catch yourself kind of, I slump my shoulders forward a lot. That's been a problem my whole life. So if I can kind of remember to just bring my shoulders back like that, um, I've seen physical therapists and they have kind of really helped, um, helped me with that because it, prevents long-term chronic pain and things like that and different other muscular imbalances that can happen. So just really practicing. If you catch yourself kind of slouching, just sitting up and back, shoulders. Um, so sitting up straight, sitting back, um, especially if you have a desk job where you're sitting all day, make sure you're getting up every hour. This can be hard if you're in meetings or things like that, but really getting up and just like walking around a little bit, go to fill up your water, go to the bathroom, whatever, walk, take a lap around the wherever setting you're at. Um, and this will help a lot with your bones and your muscle and your hip bones get really tight when you're sitting all day. When you sit for too long, you have low back pain and all these things kind of um, accumulate. So it's important to do that and take care of yourself in that way. Keeping up with your family is something that I have found really important, kind of like words of wisdom. Um, I don't live near my family anymore. I, I live relatively close to them, but not as close as I did, like not next door to them or in their house, I should say. But keeping up with your family, I make sure to talk with my family at least once a week on the phone or FaceTime. It's really important to keep up those relationships because for me, that's your family. That's a huge value in my life. Um, and if I'm not FaceTiming with them, I'm texting them every day to just stay up to date on their lives and let them in on my life. Um, because again, family is one of my core values of who I am and, and what I want in life. So that is one thing that's really important to me. And they really help keep you grounded. Um, and they'll always be there for you. Making your house a home is really important. I know a lot of people move into apartments and it's a temporary situation. But it's really important to make your apartment or whatever you're in, your room at a house, um, feel like a home. If you feel more comfortable kind of decorating 
or having someone else decorate for you, whatever works. Like putting up pictures, putting up colorful blankets or pillows or things like that because we can't really paint walls when we're renting. Um, whatever you can do to make your house feel like a home is really critical because it just feels so much more comfortable to be somewhere that feels like home when it's not your home that you grew up in necessarily or living with your parents or whatever the situation was you really kind of want to make a house feel homey and it is worth the the effort to hang up paintings and pictures and stuff and things that will make you feel very comfortable in your space especially if you're living on your own so i know that was literally all over the place but i really appreciate y'all listening and if you've made it this far and you enjoyed please give this video a big like there's a like button down there just click that subscribe to this channel if you like this content and i will be back with more kind of vlog style videos soon i just really felt called to make this video and kind of help as people are going to college for the first time or things like that so so thank you so much and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.